And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Toronto Blue Jays and the Arizona Diamondbacks. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And on the mound here today, Zach Gallen. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Yeah, his batting average against is actually better when he's at a jam. So we'll see if he continues to dance his way out of danger. The line of the pitch. And there's a foul ball. Here's the 0-2. And One that's ball, outside. Two strikes. And two another ball. ball. Two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Goldbichette up to the dish. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. Guriel ranging back. Great effort on a leaping grab. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. It's no surprise they call this batter a day player. He statistically performs better in these games, and he's hoping for a big performance in this one. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Thomas makes the catch in a goal. Down and back here at Chase Field, and today's starting pitcher, Jose Barrios. Chris having a scouting report. Well, coming into this game, here's your batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. And he grounds one to the right side. Biggio. Throws to first. One up, one down. Here's Garrett Hampson. And first offering is fouled off. Barrios, a former All-Star. He features a sinker, a slur, a four-seamer, and he works in a changeup. That's off the mark. Now one and two. One out, base is empty. And that skips in the dirt. Right side. Biggio. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the veteran second baseman, Cattell Marte. And a swing and a miss. Strike two. Ahead 0 2 in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Makes the catch, and that'll do it. And we're back. Second inning set to go. Here's Turner now. To third. Suarez throw to first in time. One out in the second. Now it's Jansen to hit. And that one hit to first. And it gets by him. Here's the left fielder. It's been a tough stretch for him at the plate. Just one hit in his last five games. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Oh, and one. One of the things amazing with Zach, think about the players he's been traded with and for. In December of 17, he and Sandy Alcantara were dealt to Miami from the Cardinals for Marcel Ozuna. Then ultimately in July of 19, he went to Arizona for Jazz Chisholm. Rips that one center field, and he'll play it on a bounce. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. That could be a really tough pitch to handle, a front door breaking ball, but 
He did a great job Eight. staying in there, keeping that front shoulder closed. One for didn't him. spit off the ball and hook it foul, which happened so many times. Edge of the zone for a strike, and it's 0-2. All eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. And that one is inside ball one. Yeah, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So you don't worry as much about him in this situation. Very capable of getting a ground ball and get out of this little jam. Two on, one out. Still two and two after the foul ball. Second inning here, no score. That one ran inside, almost got him. Back up the, oh, that got him. And they get the out after the ricochet. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Two outs. On the ground to the left. Zips it to oh. first. That ends the frame. We head to the bottom of the second. And now the DH, Jock Peterson. Hey. There's a strike. Peterson, multi-time All-Star, 31 years old. Hey. And he's driven in double-digit runs over his last 10 games. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Pretty much textbook pitching for the three-pitch K right there. Jumped ahead 0-2 on two pitches. He didn't want to go after at the plate. Then, knowing he's going to be a little more aggressive trying to protect, he expands just out of his own where he couldn't do anything with it. He gets the strikeout and keeps that the pitches thrown to a minimum. Very nice. Hey, you, hey, you, hey, you Suarez stands oh, in now right. and watches strike one. Hey. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count is 0-2. On the ground, right side, into the outfield, base hit. They fired it quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. He needed out one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in the play, and just hope it finds a hole. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. Off yeah, balance speed, there's one. And that's all they'll get. Now it's Chase Peterson. Up the middle. And it finds its way through for a hit. In comes the first run of the game as the Diamondbacks take the lead. Comes through with the RBI. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. So first and second with two outs. And here's the rookie catcher, Adrian Del Castillo. Traffic on the bases with one already in at bottom half of inning number two. He's got it. And that is out number three. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1-0. This is Toronto Blue Jays baseball on the show Canada. New inning getting started. Leading off, Kevin Biggio. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Well, these Jays, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. The numbers tell us they're swinging at the first pitch more than 90% of the time. And that's an extremely high number, especially when you're not getting results, Boo. And another ball. Rounder, that's through for a base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Back to the top of the lineup, George Springer next up for the Blue Jays. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And that one fouled off. And the right-hander deals. Fought off foul. 
With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And a pitch. Not one close with that two one. One and two to count. Hit in the air, left field. Guriel handles the chance. And there's one away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Fichet hey. in the box now. No balls in a no strike. The, count. the Jays down by a run here in the second game of the series. Oh, Missed with a changeup. And the count even one and one. And here it comes. The shortstop takes the ball. Ground ball could be two. There's one. And that's two. Back here in the desert. Now, Geraldo Perdomo. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So a man on base to start the inning. Garrett Hampson stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Here's Cattell Marte. That one is absolutely belted. And into the pole. It's out of here. And they add to their lead. It's 4-0. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. And that one is lifted in the air. Moving under this one. He's got it. And there's one away. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. And George makes the grab. And there are two down. Two outs, base is empty. Hey, Eugenio hey. Suarez is up to the plate now. Two down, nobody on. That's to third. It's through for a hit. Alec Thomas now. Ground ball right side. Now he launches a throw over his head. Lead runner around second. And he's going to make it up to second base as that's a two-base error. And here's the first baseman, Jace Peterson. A pitch in for a strike. And it's a one one Two outs, two in scoring position. Three. Got it by him for the K. But the biggest swing of the inning comes right here, a three-run homer. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back. Back to the ballpark. Start of the fourth. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Gallon back to work. And a swing and a miss. Well, a big lead like this is comfortable many times, but not when these two teams are matching up. you got to continue to keep your head down, play catch. That one drilled left field. This looks like extra bases. Around first, digging for two. 
Relay throw to second. Not in time. It's a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Could be a... Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Home run number 15 on the year. And they're chipping away. It's 4-2. That home run narrows the gap between these two. This one isn't over yet. No, Boog, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Jansen oh. takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. And it's one and one. Now they just threw that fastball ball, by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Comes up empty. That's strike two. A one-two. Just missed. It's a good take. There he goes now looking. Well, I think that was just a case of a hitter quitting on a pitch. He was looking fastball and didn't see it out of the hand and just left the bat on his shoulder. That was a changeup right over the plate. Probably not the location he was looking for, but the change of speeds is what fooled him, and he got the out. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Swings and misses. 0-1-1. Oh, one, one. Oh, one, the baseball's the coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. Misses. Oh, now one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And down on strikes he goes. And that's the third out. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now 4-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Chase Field, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's going to be Adrian Del Castillo. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Lifted in the air, out to left, under it. Makes the grab, one away. So back to the top of the Arizona lineup. And now the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And a big swing and a miss. Oh, and two. That one, 95 to finish him off. Came after him with the fastball on 2 and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power ball pitching right is now. all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and right there, he used it to put his opponent away without hey. needing to waste any pitches. One and one. Righty delivers. And a ground ball to first. He takes it himself yeah. to the bag, and that'll do it. Nothing do We go to the top of the fifth, and the batter now is Joey Votto. Swing and a miss, strike one. Votto measures six feet, two inches. More than 2,000 hits in his career. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. Deal two. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Del Castillo drifts towards it. And in foul ground, he pulls it down. One out. Two of the most potent offenses in the game squaring off. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, and one. Oh, one well, down the mound. Very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch and just about ball every one. at bat. And ball one. The Diamondbacks leading by two. And we're at the top of the fifth. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. That one missed. Next pitch is outside.
One down, base is empty. And there's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. And that should be extra bases. Biggio around second, headed for third. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Bobachette gets a chance to hit. Possibly thinking about home run number 100 here. He's just one shy of that milestone. Ball one. In the dirt. Wow, that's a great job behind the dish there. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Two on, one out. Lined into right. Drops into the glove. Runners tag up from second and third. To the plate, save. And it's a one-run game. That wasn't their standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball. Just couldn't get it to drop in. And now Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Little chopper rolls foul. The pitch. Right side, hard hit. Peterson He's takes out. it to the bag. That ends the inning. And, and we're back. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. And that one clips the corner. I'm really impressed with this offense. They haven't been timid at the plate at all. They've been aggressive, and they're keeping the defense on its toes. Five hits for them on the first pitch alone, so they're swinging and connecting right out of the gates. Peterson, batting with one down, takes a strike. Next pitch is outside. And, of course, sometimes you need to be patient as an offense and let the pitcher come to you, but you can't argue with the game plan they're using in this one. Kicks and deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Oh, and one. Here comes a pitch. Swings Aye. through that one for strike two. Oh, two is the count. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. And down on strikes. And it's a 1 2 3. In. And the right hander back to work. Late swing, fouled off. Line drive, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball, he let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Late swing fouled off. With the tying run on at first, and we're the top half of the sixth. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. One ball. Meanwhile, two activity in the bullpen. Miguel Castro up and throwing for manager Tori Lavella. Mansafly also getting ready. Way to lay off that pitch down. 2-2. Two -two. Wouldn't chase that time. Calling oh, this count runner. Not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, now he's got two runners on. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Joe Mantiply. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. Right field, down the line, and that one slices down.
And they're happy to play station to station right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. Dalton Varsho next up for the Blue Jays. Golden opportunity right here. Grounder might be two. Marte toss the second, and a run scores on the double play. It's always great when you can add a run, but in this situation with the bases loaded, double play is kind of a rally killer. Now it's the DH, Joey Votto. So now pitch hitter for the Blue Jays, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Big spot for him here. Popped in the air, left field. Guriel handles the chance, and that's the third. Back here in the desert, a Eugenio Suarez up to hit now. There's a strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Tied at four. Battling here as he fouls it away. The punch out there. Picks up strikeout number seven. Now up next for Arizona, Alec Thomas. Right through there for a strike. All ones the count. In the dirt, and that's ball one. This one in the air right field. Sizes this one up, corrals it. And there's two away. Jace Peterson, the next to hit. Maybe caught that one off the end oh, just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Two outs. Hey. A swing and a miss. And that's strike one. One ball, one strike. Up that's and in. Two. And a count two and one. Yeah. Way out front for strike two. Two balls, two strikes. All tied up here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a miss struck him out. Diamondbacks. Now on the mound for the Diamondbacks, Miguel Castro. He last pitched two days ago. Number 50, Miguel. Out there to center. Thomas gets under it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. And the batter is George Springer. One for three. Swing and a foul straight back. Base is empty, one away. Here, the top half of inning number seven. Got him swinging. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. And yeah, the righty deals. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And that one is going to go. He'll touch them all. His 11th of the year, it's 5-4. Siggy, that's a special one. His 100th career home run. Man, 100 career homers. Pretty impressive. Put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Two outs, nobody on. And now for the Jays. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And there's the strike fell on the mound. This is a spot oh, where he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the home run. Forget about now being behind on the scoreboard. Hey. Start fresh and get those hitters oh, back up to the plate as quickly as possible. 
Two down, nobody on. That one the other way. And Guerrero is set down. And that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 5-4 ball game. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the seventh, digging in, Adrian Del Castillo. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. And they get the out after the ricochet. So the batting order turns over. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. On one. Looking to get the tying run on base. That one to first, and he handles it himself for the out. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, Parker. Out to center, and that'll get down for a hit. And that puts the tying run on base. Cattell Marte up to the plate. That nope. one misses, oh. and it's 1-0. Right oh, now, they're oh, looking. No Runner takes off. That's it for a strike. Throw oh, save. That's a stolen base. Two outs is a great time to try to steal second, especially when you have a guy with some wheels on first. Defense probably knew it was coming, but figured we better focus on trying to get this hitter out. Oh. Fires over to Guerrero. Out with room. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. No, Paul Seawall. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Turner stands in now, looks at that one inside. Fastball gets the inside corner at the knees. The one one. Just missed. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Thomas balls it in and there's one away. Danny Jansen to hit here. One for two. Swings through that one. Seawall goes six feet, three inches, 220 pounds, and he was a 10th round pick back in 2012. The yeah, one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. The Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. Number 30, up and throwing for manager Tori Lovello. Nelson, a left-hander, also throwing. Swings and misses. And a count one and two. And another ball. To the mound, he's got it. Throws the got first it. in time. Two outs, base is empty. Now the now left fielder, left fielder, David Schneider. Fly ball down the line. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. Bottom of the inning, and yeah, the batter now, Jack Peterson. That one's in there. It's 0-1. So into his eighth inning of work now on the mound, despite some rough patches. Well, he's had to battle, and there were some times where I thought he was going to throw him in the towel, but he stayed out there, he kept competing, and he's gotten himself pretty deep into this one. Out to short. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Making a move at first. Coming in as the pinch runner, Jake McCarthy. Oh, one, down. And a pitch. Aye. Swing and a miss. 0-2. No ball, two strikes. And a good eye there. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the no. dirt. Inside. Try your best to get in the scoring position. 2-2. Two, two. Now this is a rocket to left. Makes the grab. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. Ground ball, left side, and that's just foul. That's inside. Holding on to a one-run lead here the bottom half of the eighth inning. 
headed down the line. And that's a foul ball. Man, is he fast. That's so fun to watch. On the ground to third. Tosses across the first. Play made that end. So coming into the game now on defense, Jake McCarthy. He'll be out in left field. Now, now fly ball to right center. Sizing this one up. Hauls it in for the out. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Isaiah Kiner. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter. Santiago Espino. One out, the base is empty for him. And first offering is fouled off. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Fouled off left side. And there's a ball. That one not close. And yeah, that's ball two. One down, base is empty. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a pinch hit double. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Man at second. And that's outside. Ball two. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Now this is in the air down the line. Hampson right there to make the grab. Runner tags it second, and he's up to third safely with two gone. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. He's been really clutch with runners in scoring position this season, so they'll have to be extra careful in this matchup. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. In comes the runner from third, and it's 6-4. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. So digging in, Bulbashev. He sent one out of here in the seventh. Yeah, a big moment in this game as well. It was a great swing and one of the reasons why they're out in front and looking to add on right here. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Around third. The relay. The tag, and he's safe. Picks himself up an RBI. A really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, number 30. Number 30. Pretty. Well, walks have certainly been an issue for him this season, so we'll see what kind of command he has. Next to hit, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That one lifted to left. McCarthy settles under it and makes the catch. And that is that. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. 8-9-1 due up in the bottom of inning number nine. Blue Jays seven, and the Diamondbacks four. Back here at Chase Field, we head to the bottom of the ninth. And now the first baseman, Jace Peterson. Oh, and that deflects off his glove. And they get You're the out. out after the ricochet. He's two outs away. Adrian Del Castillo hey. now at the plate. In there at the knees, strike one. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count, at times pitch to contact, let the defense work behind oh. him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. Guerrero steps on the bag. And a couple of quick outs. Yeah. Perdomo in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. 
you just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. This is something about that ninth inning. On the ground, and this should do it. Biggio. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Blue Jays take the first two games of this series on the road. Well, what a gutsy performance. He saved the bullpen, gave him the day off. He wasn't super dominant, but he found a way to pitch. And when guys don't have their best stuff, inning after inning, throughout an entire game, you see them dig deep, and they pitch. And that's exactly what he did to get this win today. This one finishes with a final of 7-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.